Hey, what's up guys? It's Prime Brick here, and today I have another video for you guys. And in today's video, I'm going to be showcasing my uh, mini Lego Omega Supreme. Now, uh, here he is, but first of all, um, I'm very sorry I haven't been uploading in quite a long time. This is mainly due to... Um, my schedule being very busy, um, but I do have a lot of videos coming, hopefully, if I am not booked, um, with, you know, things to do, is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, um, so again, I'm very sorry for that, and, uh, I hope to get a roll on getting videos out, but, uh, no promises, and at the end of the video, I will need your help, but once we get there, you'll know what I'm talking about. Anyway, now getting into this guy's video. Um, now, this was a, um, a little guy that I should have reviewed, like, three weeks ago, but, um, now this is to, uh, finish off my Metroplex and Trypticon um, and Omega Supreme, like, trio, because I kind of made them at the same time, and, uh, I won't be doing comparisons between those three, because if you want to see those, you'll have to go check out Metroplex and Trypticon's videos in the card. So, here he is in his robot mode, and, uh, he's, he's a completely new design from anything anyone else has ever put out. And uh, I think it works really well here. I think the colors are really nice. And he he kind of looks bulky. He kind of looks like the uh, War for Cybertron game. But he does turn into his little station. Or whatever it is. Um, with the rocket ship and stuff. And there's the back. He's got like black parts on his wings. But they just look like wings from this angle. But yeah, he looks really nice. And see the feet there, and of course the arms. The arms I took a little bit of different direction when designing those. So anyway, he looks pretty buff and whatever, so... Yeah, that's pretty much it. He does have um, quite a bit of articulation as well. He's got that, and then his arms are just out back and forth. And he does have another hinge right here. Um, but that's mainly for transformation. Um, but once again, looks pretty nice. He's got, like, the cannon on the back of his head, and, uh, yeah. Nothing at the head. And if you want, you can open up his chest and move his head a little bit, if you want. Um, but there you go. And, of course, just studs, stud friction at the wings here. And you can angle them however you want, like that. But that's pretty much it for the robot mode. Um, getting down to... Getting down to size comparisons. Um, now, I don't know what my next video will be. Um, but I'm only going to showcase new Transformers. Not any old ones. Um... I mean, this is technically an old one, but I haven't reviewed him yet. So, here's Ultra Magnus. And as you can see, he's uh, quite a bit taller than Ultra Magnus. And he's pretty much the same size as Optimus Prime. So, you can... That's pretty much how tall Optimus would be. So, there's that. Oh, stand up. And uh, here is a very new one, which hopefully I don't ruin like spoil this um why isn't he standing if you can't tell who this is this is uh ravage so there you go there's ravage next to him <sighs> he keeps falling over um and just because here is a new combiner that i will need to be doing in the future i won't show too much of him but there you go now, that is Superion. Okay. 
So, that is pretty much it for this robot mode. Now, getting down to transformation, he obviously splits apart into a bunch of different pieces, but this is not the worst that I've ever seen. So, first off, what you're going to do is you're going to take these arms here and just pull them off right here, just at this yellow stud. Then you're just going to set that there, take these back wings off. And he also doesn't split into too many parts. Um, next, you're just going to open up his chest and take this piece Wait. Yeah. Sorry. Take this piece off. And lastly, you're just going to take this piece off right there. So these are the components you have. Now, starting with the two arms, you're just going to take these pieces and just bring them down. Or in this case. And then this, because this has this little notch, you can just push that in a little bit. Then connect them, and I like to put these white pieces on the same side. And there's the rocket. Next, you're just going to take these wing pieces. And uh, these are actually the back of them, but you're just going to take them and kind of bring them out like that. Kind of in that shape. Do the exact same on this side. Kind of like a question mark almost. Just like that. Then you're just going to take this piece right here and bring these legs up, just like so. And then just take these and rotate these forward and just bring this back. And then this piece, you just bring these forward. And this bit here, you're just going to take these three pieces and bring them all back. Or just take this one piece and bring it up, but... And there you go. Now, obviously, this is the tank, so we'll just set these here because these don't actually combine. Now, it's just these pieces, so what you're going to start to do is just attach this here, just like that. Then you're just going to take these pieces and attach them right there, and attach them right there. Now, I kind of want to angle these in such a way that when you bring these together... Like that, sort of at the same angle there. They touch, just like that. And you can kind of fiddle with the positions of these a little bit if you wanted. But there you go. So there's the central part. And um, I am aware that this doesn't go all the way around, which is somewhat of a shame. Um, but it really would have been hard to, and if you wanted, you can kind of, like, open this up, so, like, this part kind of comes over to here. But then they still wouldn't have been connected anyway, so. I just like to position them like this. Now, bringing in the rocket, you can kind of just, uh, place this right in here, and it's, it's kind of a tight fit. Now, given the positioning of these, because they're just studs, um, it does vary on how easy it is to position the rocket in there. Because now you see it's like wider this way. I don't know, it's kind of a hassle sometimes. But there you go. Once you get it in there. It's kind of like hard to get out. Um, but it still looks fine. There we go. Just like that. And then you can just take this little tank and place it on the side. And there you go. There is um, Omega Supreme in his space station. And uh, it looks really good. And I'm aware this isn't a space station, but I don't I don't really know what to call it. So, and uh, yeah, I think it looks really good. Um, this little like kind of playset ish. I don't think that's a word. It's like kind of like a playset almost. You can kind of ride this around here. And if you uh, watched my big Metroplex video, you can take those little micro guys and put them on here. It'll look kind of cool. And you could even like put this on uh, Metroplex, which is still broken. So, yeah. But looks good. 
And uh, I think the pieces alone look good. The tank looks pretty nice. And of course the rocket, I think it looks really good. And the uh, technique I used for everything. Um, and the fresh idea, because this has not been done before. I see a lot of channels who just have the exact same design for their Omega Supreme. Um, but I wanted to do something completely new. And actually, I built this guy before I saw those videos anyway. So, yeah. I think it looks really nice. So, setting him off to the side for some size comparisons. Because, I mean, there's not really much else to say about this. Here he is next to Ultra Magnus. And, uh, I mean... There's nothing really to say, just there he is next to Ultra Magnus. And here he is next to Ravage in his tape mode. Um, so there you go. And here he is next to Laserbeak in his uh, cassette tape mode. So there you go. And I'm not transforming superion into all of his individual jet modes so here he is again so that is pretty much it for um everything with this figure so uh now i will get on to something i needed to say so let's get rid of him and we will bring in a couple Actually, not a couple. Quite a few figures. So, I'm just going to set everyone up here. Now, I have a couple of surprises. So, uh, first, I will just bring in the ones that I already showed. Now, I need people to tell me who to review next. Because I don't really want to pick. Because I have a lot. Now, uh, following on with these guys, because you've already seen him, I also have, I also have a Bruticus version 2. So, here is Laser Beacon Ravage, which there'll probably be one video. We have Ultra Magnus, we have Superion, um, we have version 2 Bruticus, but he is, uh, I don't feel like transforming him, because he's in his vehicle modes. And, uh, here we have version 2 Reflector. Which, I mean, I mean, I guess this guy is new because I didn't show him. But, like, these next two figures are very, very new. So, these two I'm super proud of. Um, here we have the Beast Wars uh, Black Arachnia as the first newest figure. And here we have Beast Wars Megatron. So, I need you guys to comment below which of those seven you want me to review. Because, I mean, there's only six here. Um, but I also have the Bruticus version too. So, which of those seven do you want me to do next? Um, now, I do actually have one in the works. Which, uh, now this is much bigger than I usually do. But I have one that's like Voyager class scale. It is a Lego Movie Optimus Prime. So, he's also in the works. Um, so if you want that, he will come much later. Because he's still in the works. But, uh, here are the main ones. Plus the Bruticus. Now, I need you, again, I need you guys to comment below which ones you guys want to see next. Because I don't want to pick. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the review for this guy. Um, because I sure did. And, uh, smash like on this video. Smash the subscribe button. And, of course, ring the bell. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I will hopefully see you guys in the next video.